Module 1, problem number 14. The graph of the discrete probability to the right represents the number of live births by a mother 48 to 51 years old who had a live birth in 2015. Complete parts A through D below. Part A. Well, before we get into part A, let's take a quick look at this. So here we have on the x-axis down here, we have the number of live births, 0 through 8. And then on this up here, we have our, um, our y-axis, we have our probability. So say, you see here the probability of one live birth is 0.233. That's how you would read this um, probability plot. All right, so what is the probability that a randomly selected 48 to 51-year-old mother who had a live birth in 2015 has had her fourth live birth in that year? So we would go to four, number of live births, four, and then look at the probability, 0.112. Let's type that in. Check answer. Excellent. What is the probability that a randomly selected 48 to 51 year old mother who had a live birth in 2015 has had her fourth or fifth live birth in that year? That means how many or what's the probability that it's fourth or fifth? When it's an or like that, fourth or fifth, you add those two probabilities together. So we would add 0.112, just put that in the cake, 0.112, there we go, 0.112, and then we would add the probability of five right here, and that's 0 0.096, and that gives us 0 0.208. So again, we're just adding in the probability of four plus the probability of five. And that gives us that 0 0.208. Well done. All right, part C. What is the probability that a randomly selected 48 to 51 year old mother who had a live birth in 2015, or excuse me, 2015, has had her sixth or more live birth that year? So similarly to how we did for part B, where it was fourth or fifth, we added four and five together. Now we're looking at six or more. When we look at six or more, that means we're now looking at six, seven, and eight. So all we're gonna do is add those three probabilities together. So it's the probability of six, plus the probability of seven, plus the probability of eight. So let's just add those together. We have 0 0.035 plus 0 0.039 plus 0 0.052. We have 0 0.126. 26, check the answer. Well done. All right, the last part, um, if a 48 to 51 year old mother who had a live birth in 2015 is randomly selected, how many live births would you expect the mother to have had? So we're saying of any mother that had a live birth, what number are we expecting? What's the average, in, in, for lack of a better word? That's the expected value. Remember, the expected value is equal to the possible value multiplied by its probability, and then you add them all up together. So what I'm saying is that we would look at the probability of one multiplied by one, the probability of two multiplied by two, the probability of three multiplied by three, and so on and so forth, and we're gonna add up all those values. So when we look at that, this is what we're looking at. The expected value equals one times 0.233 plus two times 0.261 and all the way up to eight times 0 0.052, and we're adding those all together. So when we add those all together, we get 3.098. And let's think about this from a logical perspective. We have 0 to 8 as possible values, but the bulk of them are down here in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So having an expected value of 3.098 is in line with seeing that most of the, value, the data is down here. So the ask, this asks us to round to one decimal place. So that would we would round that up from point or 3.098 to 3.1. Let's check our answer. Excellent. So that's problem number 14 from module one. If you have any questions or need any help, let me know.